Hello and welcome to a new series I'm going to be starting up with Farming Simulator 17. I'm going to be doing a forestry uh, edition basically, all about forestry, all the different types of equipment with forestry, because forestry actually has a pretty big um, deal with Farming Simulator. As far as, you know, the equipment that we can get and the fact that trees are plantable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell off this tractor and everything else. And keep only this tractor here. Oh, let me get my default set. And off. Okay. But I'm on the Sosnovka map, which is a welcome return to the Farming Simulator family. Uh, Sosnovka was a release on the Gold Edition for Farming Simulator 15, for those of you that are new to Farming Simulator. But uh, it has a wonderful forestry area. As you can see right off there to the left, see all those trees right there on the hillside. And if you look back there, just off the corner of the tractor, you can see another forestry area. And it, those are the indicated on the map there by the dark green areas. So, yeah, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tractor here that we started with. The uh, what is this? The Fient? Fient? No. Oh, the Zetter. That's it. 130 HD. We're going to customize it, and we're just going to add a front end loader to it. So that's going to cost us 800 right there. Plus the 1000 for doing the modifications. Got to pay the mechanic. That's why they added in placeables this right here, the vehicle workshop. That way you don't have to pay that $1,000 automatically to the mechanic for customizing a vehicle. But let's see here. We do know we're going to need front end loaders. We're going to need a log fork. So we're going to buy one of those. And gonna need that for the front end loader. So our front end loader is done. Now chainsaws. I'm gonna go ahead and get the steel MS two sixty one. And then forestry equipment. Let's see here. Oh, wait. Actually, weights. We're going to need a weight for our tractor. Um, I'll go with the 1100. And I'll go ahead and get that in red. So it just matches the color of the tractor there. So our tractor's done. Now we got to figure out how we're going to transport logs. So we've got IT runner there, the Ponce Buffalo, the Steppa, uh, FHL 13 AK, and our Flegel Timber Runner. 
Hmm. If I get the Flegel Timber Runner, I'm going to need the Dolly. I could get that. It'll give us our own crane. Don't have enough money for the buffalo right now. And the IT runner, if we get that, we're going to need to get the ITR 2633HD, which is the actual trailer for picking up the containers. But I think I'll go ahead and do this because then I can get one of those and I can load up a couple of these and have them ready standing by and all I got to do is just swap them out. So that way I can just spend a day loading up trailers and then spend a little bit of time transporting them back and forth for selling. So yeah, I think I'm going to go the IT runner route. But I'm going to need to borrow some money to do that. So let's go ahead and borrow a little bit of money. And go ahead and purchase this color. Let's go with a forestry kind of green. Not puke. Yeah, that's that looks like black. Forestry green? Right there. And we'll get this. It already matches. And we'll start out with just one of those. Now let's go ahead and repay down our loan. So yeah, that looks nice right there with that green. And we have the ability on this, I think. Yep, we can put straps on. So we'll start with one of these containers. And we'll go from there. If we need to, act, um, once we start making some money, we'll go ahead and get more of these to start laying up and everything, pre staging them. So let's go ahead and get our kit all together. We're going to have to drive our tractor into the shop. And this is the bare minimum stuff for setting up a forestry operation. Now, since I gotta hook the trailer up, I'm gonna go ahead and transport the weight utilizing the front connector. This is going to be fun. Okay. So we'll connect that. And then I'm going to have to drive it outside at an angle. And then bring it back in. Extend the arm. Just back it up into that until it's ready to hook on. There we are. And then we load the container. Let's take a look here. Got a flashing light on the back of the IT runner. That's nice. I do like how the green, making the trailer green, matches so nicely with the uh, K2 
container that, there. So yeah, this is a nice little set of kit we got going on here. All set up for our forestry. So let's start the turret engine up. And let's see, where do we want to go? We got a lot of trees up here that can be felled. Fair amount of trees out here that can be felled. So I think I'll just head straight up this road and start working up there. Check for cars. All right. Oh, look at that tall tree right there. Oh, I hope this tractor is going to be able to pull this. Yeah, it's going to have a rough time trying to climb hills with a loaded trailer. This tractor right here. But let's get up here to this flat area right here. And this is where we'll call base camp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and offload the trailer right here. Oops, nope, detach that, retract arm, and I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up out of the way a little bit. So just down this road. Then we gotta get the weight put on the back end of this tractor. And we will be all set for dropping off some trees. Turn off all the lights. Left the headlights on. There we go. Alright. So let's pick out a tree. You think I'm ready for one of the tall ones? Ah, we'll go ahead and try it. cut these things.
Okay, that didn't work. We gotta come over this way more. We gotta get the branch around that uh, tree there. And then I can come this way. And start figuring out the length I'm gonna have to cut these. So yeah, almost, yeah, right in half. Is that too long to pick up and push in? Yep, object's too heavy, so I'll have to push it in with the tractor. But, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this trailer up. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so that's uh, six trees there. As you see, I had a seventh tree there cut down to see if I can fit it on here. But as these are starting to hit the top of the running board there, I think it's time to call these good. So let's go ahead and strap it in. There we are. Get all these logs strapped in pretty tightly. And then we'll uh, pick them up. So first thing is, we're going to swap out the weight. The other reason I'm putting the weight in the front is it helps me with the trailer, the traction. Because this is going to be a pretty heavy trailer with the, all these logs on here. IT runner trailer. Finish extending that arm. And let's go ahead and hook up to the trailer. Let's see how well it loads. Woo, look at that, picking up the trailer, the tractor there. It is a pretty heavy load there. Take this trailer off road a little bit. Definitely going to need our marker lights on. I'm not even touching the gas, it's pushing me down the hill. Well, head across the street here.
start making our way over to the uh, um, to that that does sawmill. I'll figure out the word eventually. Feels like it keeps wanting to pick up my front end. And we're gonna have to cut across the grass here. Cause that's the sawmill right there. And to sell at the sawmill, all we gotta do is drop them off in the pond. Fasten the belts from inside here. Alright. So, unfasten the tension belts. And then we'll just set the drop off container. And it should push the logs right out into the pond. Yep. Uh, let's see how much total did we make there sold wood 23,000 then we just load the container back up and we're ready for our next uh, load I wonder. Uh, would have been nice if they gave us the ability to do a crane system or something here. But yeah, um, Zosnovka map, you've got a couple places to sell wood. You've got the lumber yard here, where I'm at, up here. And then you've got the biomass heating plant down here. Which, if we click on it, and I go visit, we've got right here, you can sit there and uh, put wood chips and sell them here. And then logs, you can drop them off right here for the logs. So that's one, one reason I think Zosnovka is a great map for uh logging because if you're down here on the bottom part of the map you can bring it all over here to the biomass heating plant if you're up at the top you take it up to the lumber yard and where did they put the pigs we've got cows here chicken coops there That's our animal dealer. Sheep. Oh, here's the pig farm. Let's go see the pig farm here. I haven't seen it yet on this map. Biogas plant. Yeah, they did modify the map a little bit. Because the biogas plant I thought used to be down here. Now it's over here at the pig farm. So yeah, I'm going to go back to uh, cutting trees on this uh, and uh, try to pay off our loan. 
So if I repay now, we only owe another 65000 so another two, three trips, and I'll be able to pay that off. And then we'll, uh, I'll start looking at collecting some money up so I can get some new, uh, a new tractor. That's definite. A new tractor, maybe, uh, start looking into wood chipping, maybe, or maybe start saving up for the Shampoo Rosalie HR46X, be able to cut trees and automatically cut them to length right there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me uh, go cut some more trees down, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.